I went to the shanty, but it was too hot, so I came to my room and tried to fix pears to pastel. They don't seem to mean much to me. So on my way back to the shanty, I forgot to tell you, I got some onions that I'm going to fix for dinner, but now I almost wished I hadn't. <laughs> you hate onions. I feel as though it is like eating a piece of your finger. <laughs> Dearest, I love you. Well, I played with my pears, on white, on black, with leaves, without, on white again. Catherine knocked on my door, said it was a mistake. Cell rushed in without knocking, backed out. I miss you. All have gone to the club. When I finally had the pears fixed, pears are stupid. I must write to you instead of playing with pears. I really don't like pears anyway. I simply don't see what I would do without you if I had to be for long. I'm going to put down my shades and stay in the dark for a while. I hope you are comforted. You are certainly the dearest, most precious thing in the world. Dorothy took me to the post office and <laughs> there was your letter, written this morning. I simply can't tell you of it. I must try to paint it for you. What it does to me, I can only tell you when you kiss me, I am nearly lost to the world. Thank you, dearest. Only I can't quite forgive some of the nice things you say about me. The things that go wrong are as much my fault as yours. I won't let you take all the blame. We must try that they don't happen again. In some way, that seems to mean more than anything to me. We will talk about it. I painted this morning and this evening, too. Not the kiss yet. The day has been beautiful. Quiet, too. I hope not too warm for you. I was afraid last night, but I was determined to sleep anyway, and I did. Sweetest. 